Hey guys, uh, Luke for Smith here. And um, yeah, I came back from seeing the Halloween 2018 movie. And now I'm a bit late since today is uh, the 6th of November. It's almost 11 o'clock at night, so we've got an hour left of, t of today. <clears throat> it wasn't a bad movie. Um, to be honest with you, I know it went back to its roots, um, and because I know people like uh, John, John Car Carpenter and um, Jamie Lee Curtis definitely said that it's a film that goes back to the roots of the uh, of the first Halloween film, uh, which this one is set 40 years after um, Halloween in 1978. Yeah, 19, yeah, I was thinking about 1968, but it's definitely no, it's um, 1978. Um, <clears throat> and it's basically set in um, present day 2018, I'm assuming it's set in, in um, present day. Um, yeah, so yeah, yeah, the actual film was not, was not bad, it, it was quite good. And one of the things that I really liked about it was... Um, the actual title screen is that pumpkin, like basically a rotted pumpkin coming back back to life as like a normal pumpkin, and like the original theme tune, theme theme tune and um, and um, text like the orange text on the black back black background. It it was actually a nice nice touch touch and a um, throwback to the. Um, the first one, and um, yeah, I guess to say this one completely ignores the rest of the um, films. So this one is a direct sequel to the first one. So this one should be number two. <clears throat> um, it had some good moments. It had some nice scary moments as well. Uh, it's basically the um, uh, the main thing is. Uh, Laurie Strode is a grandmother now, and it's basically her family and uh, the, the daughter of her family. So it's like in, in generations. So you've got the daughter, then the mother, and then the grandmother, which is Laurie Strode. So it's like, uh, I think, is it two generations? Three, three generations there as well. So that's good. And um, to be honest, I always thought like the um, one of the um, family members would would have got uh, killed off, like one of the main uh, fa family members. But it didn't. It actually worked out uh, pretty well in in the end. <clears throat> the guy who played Michael Myers, the actual guy wearing the mask, turned out was the same guy in the first one, the one 40 years ago, and he didn't change one bit, he got it down to a T, Re really good at acting on his part, you know, I can't really, can't remember the name of the guy who even play, plays him though, that's, that's the only thing, um, so let's see, a bit of a um, spoiler here, um, basically starts up in the, um, in the mental institution, and they basically want to ask uh, Michael Myers some questions. Now, unfortunately, he has not been talking for over 40 years, so yeah, it's going to be a bit difficult to get him to speak. And they basically take take him, all the inmates out, because uh, they wanted to change the um, to change them to a different uh, facility. And the bus crashed, tipped over, and um, Michael Michael Myers escaped. And he basically found a mask and put it on in his typical um, mechanic run. I don't know what do they call it. Boiler, boiler suit. So I, I call them. Puts on the boiler suit and the um. And the mask, which the mask in this one is really nicely done. I know they couldn't just keep the um, the William Shatner mask 
because that would have been a little bit stupid in this one. So they actually done the mask uh, look really aged and cracked more, look really realistic as well. It really fit the um, character. So so that so that was quite good. Um, uh, let's see the actual soundtrack now. The Halloween soundtrack was excellent. Uh, because it really set, set the theme and it didn't stray away from the first film at all because even the ca even the camera movements now they had a, like a you know in some films they have a single a single shot um thing and it lasts for like a few minutes and they got them down right, right to a T. Now it was only like one scene that was like that, and it was like a almost a recreation of the first um, of of the first one where he's walking through the house, killing a couple of people, and then w walking out and then down the um, street, turns his head and he walks into another one. And he kills kills that one too, and then he gets cuts away, and that lasts about five minutes. That scene, so was, that that was really well played. I'm just wondering how many takes that took to actually get it right, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't that many takes. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna go into too much details, but all I'm saying is, I know it's a bit late for this review, but it it will still be out in the um, in the cinemas. Um. At the minute, so go and see it. It's a really, really good film, especially like if. And the best thing to do is to watch the first one, and then watch this one, uh, because it'll make a bit more sense then. Uh, the actual character of um, Laurie Stro Strode was played really brilliantly because Jamie Lee Curtis is a fantastic actress, including her her mother who was in. Psycho, the um, Alfred Hitchcock film, the black and white one, back many, many, many years ago. I think it was the early 60s uh, that that one was done. And you could see the um, acting blood runs through the, f through the family because she, ac she actually got it down to a T, her, um, her, her character, or Jamie Lee Curtis's character. Um, so, yeah, really good acting in it. I didn't mind it at all. Um, I'm just trying to find some bad um, points because I know there's good and there's bad. Um, to be honest with you, I can't really find any bad things about it. Uh, it was it, it was still um, good. A little bit too many jump scares in it, but to be honest with you, it's a horror movie, so you kind of expect that that sort of thing as well. Um, yeah, that, that was about it, really, yeah. Anyway, this has been the review. I'm going to find out where the location of this video will be put because I'm using different software. I'm not using the um, Logitech um, cam software, which come with the camera, or well, downloaded it. Um, I'm using the camera software that come included with Windows 10, like the application thing. So that should be, um, yeah, that should be all right and tell me if you see any difference in it because I, I can't see any difference it's just bigger and I can actually see more um, so yeah don't forget to give me a like and subscribe really appreciate it I would have more movie reviews this this month so I've watched this space um, and a couple of more bits and pieces as well so until next time see you guys